Cheers, my lords! This is Blaster Brewmaster back here again with Long Live the Queen. So, we are in week 17. We're still alive, surprisingly. I somehow am expecting this might turn at any given moment, considering all the political bullshit that's being thrown at me left and right, and I haven't actually been doing as much of it as I... Because, I mean, it's like, look at this. So, here are the skills. Um, I've got all kinds of different situations where I'm, it's like history especially, I'm rather proficient in it looks like. This is kind of like me in real life. Uh, reflexes, that's definitely good too. So, um, so the thing is here we have to work. Okay, athletics, so, climbing or running, I feel like either one of those could be useful. So let's go with some running, we're just getting right back into it. And then... Maybe some more foreign affairs. Alright, climbing and foreign affairs. Let's do that. Go into classes, so... Athletics. Climbing. And then history. Foreign affairs. Let's get this in a good position here. Let's see how we do today. You practice climbing up and down fixed ladders, driving out any fear of heights and learning to move swiftly and surely. That's good. Afternoon. Southeast lies the domain of Talasi, with which we have enjoyed fairly cordial relations. Sedna, their chief province, borders the Novan Duchy of Iloth, and nobles from the two provinces have been known to intermarry. I guess that's a good thing, right? So, Jocelyn, King Dowager, Duke of Caloris. Now this is, I think, this might be where the dude I'm supposed to be hitched up with might show, and I'm just hoping he ain't gonna stab me in the back. Are you ready for the Grand Ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Gulp. No, so maybe I should have been working a little bit more on my cordiality and stuff, because this is probably going to hurt me. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around you, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Presence failed. Uh, but, 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 yeah, I called it. I called it. I knew I was going to fail everything. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. Plus one pray, uh, afraid and plus one pressured. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father awaits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. Okay, Dad. I'm a little bit creeped out. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look of his eyes is so sad. You have failed me, son. Although it's not really son, yeah. <laughs> but still. I believe the next turn is mine. Talardus, Duke of Sedna. Sedna was in good relations, right? That was the one I just learned about, I think. He bows gracefully and offers you his hand, then leans close to whisper a quick question. Oh boy. I knew it! I knew I shouldn't trust him. Do you know how to dance? Nod or shake your head? Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> I'll shake my head, because I'd rather not step on his foot by accident. You shake your head slightly, your hair swaying. Watch me. I'll go slowly. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father, especially when the man in front of you is the one you have agreed to marry. His touch is gentle. His every move carefully signaled to be sure that you don't miss a beat. Is this what your marriage will be like? Hmm. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. There better be sushi there. I mean, some fucking eel. Court manners plus flattery failed. I at least tried to do the flattery part. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. At the, as the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. 
As Gwenaelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adil, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No Brioni. She had said their parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess pos pos possessively sorry, tight. Hmm. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, more of a being so close by. Sense magic failed, lovely. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? As the evening grows late, your personal guest draws you aside for a private conversation. You have my most fulsome thanks for the invitation to this event. Court manners failed, lovely. However, you might wish to spend more time with the scribes before corresponding and writing with other nobles. Some may not appreciate your unique sense of phrasing. Wonderful. I sounded like an idiot. It is always the greatest of pleasures to be for me to be in your presence. I look forward to the day when we will no longer have to part. Um, okay, so now we're finally done with that whole thing. I think I am at least good on the history stuff. I am going to start working a bit more in court manners and dancing because it seems to be where I'm really being thrown most. Okay, so fear is the only thing that's not really high up. So I guess let's return here. Let's go and attend service. You attend service in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Okay, so... All the moods are good. That's good. Okay. So, now that everything is good and up, um, let's see. Composure, elegance, presence, public speeding, court manners, flattery. I think court manners is probably a bigger thing right now. So, court manners is going to be one. Now, I can't do weapons. That sucks. Athletics. Hmm. Huh. still feel like it's... All right, let's go with dance. We should do some of that. So let's go with court manners and... Mm, you know what? Let's actually go with composure. So composure and court manners. Court manners is conversation. So royal demeanor com and conversation. Okay. So royal demeanor. Uh, wait, did we say elegance? Hold on. I forgot what I said. Uh, Elegance, yes. So, court manners, elegance. That's what we're going to work on. Elegance, conversation, court manners. And there we go. You practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. Ugh, God, I can't imagine that. You practice the elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup. Your pinky slightly extended for balance. Yes, yes, indeed. See, I'm good at this shit. <laughs> Afternoon. As a person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission and no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. Hmm. You study rules from f yeah. You study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As a queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. Alright, what do we have this time? You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Siren, Countess of Miranda and Callisto. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. Sorry. <laughs> not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend. And yet, not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. Composure failed. How dare she make a move on your father! 
Chamber with silent scorn. Insult her with false flattery. Trip her as she passes. Hmm. False flattery. Let's go with that. Good afternoon, Countess. Flattery failed. My, what large breasts you have. Putting them on display for any particular reason. Yeah, the flattery part wasn't that great of a choice, I guess. Elodie! Really, my dear, it's not polite to comment on a lady's attributes like that. But you are young. You will grow. Oof. Plus one angry. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave and exits. I mean, guess you don't have any flattery to be able to insult people in a flattering manner. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Really, Dad? Really? And this is the path you have set us on. Bitch, please! The fuck did I set you on anything? What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. Dad, what are you doing? My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama... Nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things that we don't want to do. Plus one depressed. Jesus. This dad is the worst father of all time. Just saying. Well, okay, not really. And really, really, not really. You should be careful with how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Intrigue failed. <laughs> I am paying attention to what's around me. Or, I am paying attention to what's around me. Hold on. Let's turn. Close that one. And hold on. Little technical difficulties. Here we go. Okay, so. That's just going to make me plus one angry. Yielding, lonely, cheerful. Uh, hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's raise that anger. Bitches take it out on the court. You take the court for a few games of tennis. Feel the thrill of competition. Oh, yeah. Did I accidentally undo that? I don't know. Let's try that again. Okay. Bitches piss now. Okay. Weapons, now it's time to really get some weapons going again. So we need to get some Intrigue now. Hmm, I can't really. Intrigue doesn't seem necessarily the greatest part here. So the question is, what is really going to be the most helpful? Flattery, eh, let's go ahead and just use the ones that are at our maximum right now. Flattery and swords. Let's raise that swords up. So we're going to go both of those. Conversation, flattery, weapons, swords. Who doesn't love a sword? I love swords. That's all I know. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for the personality and their choices rather than their physical attributes. Well, that would have been useful to have, you know, had a moment ago. I've unlocked a new outfit. Good, because I've been kind of stuck in this uniform for a while. You drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in carefully timed patterns. Huh, it's the only thing I really get for that. Is it time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget? The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always room for some discretion. Accounting failed. <sighs> I don't know anything about budgets. Uh, lower taxes. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. Your father consults with a minister, and then he says, nope. Apparently your earlier efforts have exhausted the available funds. There is not enough surplus to give back. <sighs> That's not fair. I wanted to lower taxes. <sighs> Raise taxes then. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place, you asshole of a father? We need more money. Raise the taxes a bit. As you wish. 
What the fuck is this guy? It's like, a, you're the king, why aren't you doing these things? I don't understand this shit. Uh, willful, pressured, lonely. Uh, let's go for this one. A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burden on your shoulders. Okay, so, where are we now? Let's actually check our mood. Everything is above the line, that's kind of good. Alright, so, I think sword skills are going to definitely be good enough now. Uh, let's also check the outfits. What's the new outfit? Boarding school, tea dress, boosts conversation. Okay, I guess I'll keep that up. Um, so, skills. Skills, skills, skills. We're still alive in week 20. Boost to weapons and military. I should probably start actually studying some military. I haven't done any of that. So, mmm, hmm. These are at least good too. Mm, but what else do we have besides military? So it said weapons. Oof. You know what? Military and pole arms. So let's go with strategy or logistics. Let's start out with logistics. All right. Even though I definitely would be more for strategy myself. Weapons, pole arms, and military. Logistics, being able to move tr troops and supplies in a timely fashion. Yeah, all right, let's go with that. You learn about a variety of long weapons, from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and glaive. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. Your request is to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They, they used me. They twist my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming and she tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need a priest just to bless me and make me clean again. I need Jesus. Demons that make you attack people? Is that even possible? Uh, let's imprison him. Whether they were demons or not, you still killed a woman. Your wife. I won't forgive you for that. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. He opens his mouth to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Let's see here. Anger is definitely at a high level. Let's return. I'm gonna do... let's see, we need to kind of make some more afraid. Uh, let's see, what about depression? Uh, we can balance it out. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's see, willful, angry. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and visit the tomb. Cause I don't want to see the dad because he's just an asshole anyways. Okay, skills, weapons, and military again. Um, let's definitely do strategy. And, you know what, mystical is something I have not really done. Meditation, divination, lore, lumen. I'm going to just do some sense magic, so, you know what? Strategy and sense magic. So, military, strategy. And let's see, faith, no. Do I not have the options? Hmm. Probably not, right? I guess Lumen, I have to take that route to really be able to go for that stuff, so. Uh, maybe lore. Uh, skills, I don't know. Should I really do lore? Yeah, let's just on the safe side. Let's do... So we're going to do strategy, faith, lore. Okay, let's go with that. So you study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so the crystal can be passed from the parent to child upon the lumen's death. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, lovely. You receive a word that you receive word that the murderer you condemn to prison has escaped after one fucking week. I have got the greatest guards in the world. A large explosion rocked the jail he was in, destroying the walls and setting many dangerous criminals free. The fuck? Is he a pyrotechnic now? It will now fall to the royal treasury to repair the damage. What the bloody bullshit? That is ridiculous. Uh, you know what? Let's build that anger up. Play that game. Build your anger. Let's use it against people. Okay, so... Right now, we've got positive in conversation. We could do some of that. Weapons is going pretty good. I think I'm going to do, though... Mm -hmm. You know what, let's do more weapons and strategy. I think I'm gonna do pull arms again. Weapons, pull arms, military, strategy. Should be well rounded at least. You practice walking while carrying a long weapon, getting the feel for its size and weight, and learning to maneuver without banging it into anything unintentionally. You learn the basic stances, grips, and positions for staff fighting, and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. Afternoon, you study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Alath, has passed away. This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. I wonder if this is going to fall under intrigue. With the control of Elath in doubt, it falls to the Crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Arise, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Novan history success! Ha! That's what I thought! Not to mention that she's closely related to the Duchess of Mead and the Duke of Kylag, or Kygel. She could control almost the entire eastern half of Nova. People already call her Nova's other queen. Internal affairs, though, failed. I knew that was going to be a problem. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's Ishtar. Because they can Ishbal for a second. Or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his state. I think I'm going to send him with the grandfather, because I don't really trust her having that much control. Right. The Earl of Ishtar is the closest blood relation that Adair has. He should be regent. As you wish. Okay, so let's start getting that anger back under control now. And maybe more cheerful if we can. So afraid and cheerful. Lonely, cheerful, yielding, lonely, cheerful. Well, let's play with some damn toys. Need to be able to relax a little. You spend a weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. Uh, don't know that does anything about that because I forgot about the frayed part. Okay, weapons and military are still high. Intrigue. I think I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to say internal affairs. And maybe some conversation would be good, actually. Okay, internal affairs, and then let's see. Court manners. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, intrigue, internal affairs, conversation, court manners. I can't believe we're at week 23 and haven't been killed yet. <laughs> it's like I almost am kind of waiting for that to happen. <laughs> your maternal's uncle wife. Uncle. Okay, so your maternal uncle's wife. So that'd be the uncle of my mom. And then the wife of that uncle, okay, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother of the title of the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother Duke... Created her brother 
Oh, I guess made her title that? The Duke of Merva. Okay. Afternoon. You study the tradition of ballroom etiquette. How to politely accept or defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. You memorize a correct title for every servant in the castle. Treating servants with respect ensures good service. Yes, it does. Remember that if you've never actually done any food services or other services. You don't want to get your food spit in there, do you? Or your beer. <laughs> there was a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patronage. Which means money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in a word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles of many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Foreign intelligence failed, but intrigue success. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. Musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. Instrument plus voice failed. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to reject her because I don't exactly trust that. Thank you, but we are not interested. So we need a little bit of depression and fear, right? Uh, yeah, might as well. Go and visit the tomb. You pay respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. So. I think this is going to be good enough for today. We are still actually kind of going through. We're actually like week 24. That'd be... Because it's supposed to be a full year of this, right? So that means we're halfway alive still. It's kind of surprising. I didn't really think I'd get this far with everything I understand about it. Anyways, so I think this is pretty much it. Thank you for going ahead and joining me here today on this video. If you like this video, and especially if you like Long Live the Queen, please give it a like, a comment, a subscribe whatever you feel like it. I always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you. In the meantime, go ahead and raise your can in the air and have another can of seltzer on me. Love and peace. In a boot. Did none of you see me when I was in the attic and ran away? Uh, no. If you have any problems, just read the enclosed instructions. Wait, what? I didn't see you at all. Are you still up there? No. I didn't think so. He's gone. Boots the head. No, but you need to know anyway. Well, I declare the head. And one more for Jenny and the Wimp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember that one quite well. <laughs> oh, I don't want anything at all. One can never find President Trump's hair. It always leaves his head.